I think there's a fine line. I don't think. I know there's a fine line between honoring the wishes of the deceased, but taking uh, into consideration what the family's going through also. And that's important. I, I do believe that uh, a lot of times a, a person has said, hey, here's the things I want or don't want when I pass away. Also, you have to remember, though, there's a big group of people who are still alive, and they have to uh, work through the grieving process. It doesn't just stop when that casket gets closed and we put lower that thing in the ground or the urn gets the lid put on. The people that are still here have to deal with that, that death still. And part of that grieving process is to be able to speak things and to share things and to maybe get together and laugh with other people or, or have a meal uh, or walk through the process in whatever way best helps them. Sometimes that service isn't just for the deceased. It's as much about the family that's still alive and the people that, uh, his family that's still together. They still have a process that they need to walk through. And that process entails a service or a gathering or a celebration, whatever it may look like. But to let those people really walk through the pain that they're experiencing, um, letting them laugh together uh, about things that an aunt or an uncle or grandpa, even mom or dad did that, that was funny and that we want to remember. Um, so that it's not just all about they're gone, they're dead, we, we, just, we just buried them. It really is about me as a, a son or a daughter or a, a husband or a wife or children, whatever it may be, um, need to, to go through some kind of a process, some kind of a, use some kind of a tool that helps me uh, come to grips with what just happened, the, the death that took place.